this is a story about oh okay here comes ufos having a coffee watching it early in the morning i was up early before daylight my dog wanted to go outside so you know i let him out couldn't get back to sleep came out here had a couple of coffees before this one because they're very small cups as you can see big enough for a coffee anyway um, if you have three coffees it uh, will fill you up so this is my third cup I like to have three cups in the morning which is a bit too early to have cups today but I have three of these not straight after one another because they're very filling I like to fuel up on some energy and fluids and water that's my water bottle oh um anyway I'm watching this on YouTube about Australian UFO sightings and things like that now I want to tell you about my prop my uh I would say it's a problem. I made some videos um, on my sensor camera, which I've still got the sensor camera to this day, but it's very old and hardly works anymore. Um, and uh, I believed I was taken. I thought that I was being disturbed by intruders like thieves and stuff so I called the cops and they said we'll put a camera up we can't do anything about it there's no fingerprints and so I put a camera up but they would shine a torch in the camera to block it to make it all bright and block it when um but before they turn up there was these like light bulbs floating around and I filmed those and, and you know I left it on in the daytime as well not realizing that it was filming and I filmed myself with my hands glowing and things coming out of them I don't know what these things were doing to me but they did something terrible to change my DNA makeup I believed they did but it'll naturally go back it doesn't last for long I hope um, but it naturally would go back to normal human because obviously they're not they can't be real they're real from someone's making but they can't be real so eventually it would fade away um, and I saw UFOs at that place, not here. I've seen lots of UFOs here, all different strange shapes, triangles and strange looking ones. But I've deleted those because I see so many of them that means nothing to me. But this guy, he talks about a UFO in... Um, a lady and two federal officers from Australia in Australia driving home from I don't know a drinking thing going out you know and driving home so they saw a UFO and got taken by American um, intelligent or something some sort of Americans in Australia mind you they don't have any rights to do that I would laugh at them and lock the door but um, they took them and questioned them and told them not to they didn't want them talking about the um, UFO that they saw on the way home So it's an interesting story because why would America be interested in Australia with UFOs? Haven't they got enough UFOs to worry about? 
Anyway, let me tell you something about me now because everybody's coming out with their films of UFO things. <clears throat> well, I was on my way to pick up my son from um, his work. He hadn't had a car yet and uh, he relied on family, which is good. So I, not realising, something happened anyway, that I found out the time, I was a bit early, so I drove in, drove off the highway onto a dirt road and parked there until time flew by. And I noticed something in a tree that was near the, where I parked. And I thought, I've seen that before. So I took a photo of it to keep a memory of it. And the camera must have triggered off something with it and it started pulsating blue glow all around me, like boom, 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 like a heartbeat, like a UFO pulsates. <clears throat> And I thought, this is weird. So I took photos of that. I've since th thrown the camera out because it's, it's so old that um, it doesn't, didn't work anymore. And I only kept it for the pictures that I took of that day. Um, I showed lots of people. and um, Anyway, it was pulsating. It was blue, like a baby blue, colour sky blue. Um, and stretching my hands out, my hands burnt when I stretched them out to take a photo of the closer of this blue glow, Hope, hoping I got the um, blue glow. Um, my hands burnt matching both sides and so I called them gloves. Um, I was in the blue glow, it was all around me, yet I didn't my body didn't burn, only my arms, I thought was strange because... So anyway, I called them gloves and I started to change. I got a lot of um, intelligent information. I knew things um, that no one could ever know, not even me should have known because I've never... I've. I, I, I wasn't in extremely intelligent, so I wouldn't have known these things. And nor did I bother to look into it to know them, you know. <clears throat> it was just um, males, you know. I was more interested in males and um, my car and my kids, that's it, you know, nothing else. <clears throat> and, um, <clears throat> excuse me, just trying to clear my throat and I can't clear it. But it's already clear. It's so weird. It feels really, really different. Um, better have a swig of my coffee. Now, where was I up to? Um, um, that's nice coffee. It's only a cheap brand. But it's not herbicide or pesticides. It's an all natural coffee from rain, from the sky, or they water it. No sprays at all in it. <clears throat> anyway, so years went by. So I ended up, no, before the years went by, I end, ended up going to the hospital several times because I, I got really sick before this change in me occurred and the doctors took photos of my arms and uh, they never said anything. They never gave me any creams. They were just intrigued about it and um, that was it. Years went by, oh, sorry, before the years went by again, um, going shopping, um, they turned black. Um, the gloves turned black. I called them gloves. They t turned jet black on my skin and lights just blew out without out any storms and um, that pulsating blue glow used to appear again around the gloves again. 
um, sometimes it would just be a mist covering the area, very large area. Anyway, years went by and it slowly faded, uh, absorbed into my skin, um, which I still can see them, but I'm not going to point to what uh, on the camera what they are because <clears throat> you need two hands, one to hold the camera, which I can't do if I'm going to point the gloves um, pattern out. Anyway, um, so years went by and a uh, year or two went by, sorry, and I got some jo odd jobs and um, I ended up as a cleaner at the um, army barracks and um, they thought, thought I was suspicious, so they drove me around pointing things out and I told them, they said, do you know where that comes from? And I said, yeah, it's from Russia. What's this one from? UK. What's this other one from? America. They said, how do you know? We think that you better leave. So anyway, I left uh, that job because I was a bit scared about what's happening to me <clears throat> and how come... You know, they drove me around like that and pointing things out and wanted to know what, where they were from because how did I know where they were from? All these weapons, um, things were from. And I um, ended up with, oh, in my head I knew people's flight plans on uh, by planes, you know, I knew exactly everything about it and I knew every country's weapons and I thought geez and I tried telling them if I know who else knows but they just laugh at me because I'm not really I don't wear suits and a tie I suppose and I don't look like a blonde big boobed bimbo I'm just a normal Australian that doesn't look intelligent and wears weird clothes. <laughs> I, I'm colour blind, so I, I used to wear <clears throat> weird clothes. I, I didn't think they were weird, but um, <clears throat> everyone else did. <laughs> um, and then years went by after that and I thought, well, you know, um, try sending it, try using it, using computer signals. <clears throat> so I used the old DOS commands, 1 to 10, and um, a computer wizard taught me that years and years before the gloves situation. And um, so I um, used that and it worked. I thought, well, this is strange. So I put it, put the blue glow over my car using the commands. I don't use the commands, I don't need to anymore because I've grown with it, it's absorbed into me. I use other means which I won't say. And it made the normal of my car looking different to other normal cars surrounding the surrounding. So I took a photo of a normal car and the surrounding and then I took a photo of my car and its surrounding it had a different normal look to it which made me take photos of it in the first place at that tree when I pulled over at the side of the road so um, next thing um, car yard people were stealing my photos of my uh, n paranormal looking car um, as a means to sell cars and America on wasn't because of me or my pictures but they got wind of something illegal goings on so they sued the car dealer and um, he stopped using my pictures but I made sure before he saw the pictures that I was registered all my pictures and what it was in a government site 
so no one could steal or pattern it or whatever, you know. So it was all safe and he wasn't allowed to use my pictures and um, it says in the site that if you can't afford to sue the people that are using your items, that the government will So I was lucky that uh, USA sued this car dealer several times and uh, they needed the money anyway, you know, and I couldn't see it, uh, sue them because I had no money. And um, th uh, a year or two went by again and um, using this uh, blue glow thing, it came back one day to return home. That was the 10th command, return home and stay home, which was me, my gloves, my arms. But I noticed it had a big hole when I put a pot of water on to make a cup of coffee. I heard the sizzling sound of water on my gas stove and I couldn't understand, it's not boiling, there's no water in it and there's a hole, pure, hot, pure, round, perfectly round hole right from the ground through to the, um, through the stove and through the pot. And, yeah, and... So, you know, I couldn't use that pot and I couldn't use the stove. So the owners fixed it. I was very poor. I was living in a caravan, um, very poor. And um, they gave me a new stove and um, new pots and I was fine after that. But then I realised I have to return this, get this to return safely, not return home for the 10th command and uh, and um, so I made up some commands, DOS commands for it to return home safely. Um, one day before I said the, um, before I set up the uh, command to the 10 commands, com commandments, <laughs> the 10 commands DOS commands to return, the 10th one to return home safely, I forgot to use it one time and it made strange sounds and um, that was my alarm. <laughs> it made strange sounds and melted all the wiring without burning the caravan, without burning anything, it just melted it as if it was heating and freezing or using freezing. I don't know what it was doing anyway. Um, the same caravan before it uh, got burnt, wrecked. I um, was just, you know, sitting in the annex part and enjoying my loneliness because I love to get on my laptop and play um, games, you know, um, for lonely boredom, it kills that loneliness, it, it makes it fun. And I noticed a spider crawling up the wall and it kept falling down like as if something was attacking it all. It was broken legged, I thought, but, but it would climb up again and fall down. And I thought, this is strange. Then I saw Daddy Long Legs. They were, uh, this one was a small young daddy long legs and it was attacking it. But I didn't see it at first. It started to um, throb like the blue glow. And it turned into a, like a mirror thing and then it appeared. And I thought, well, that's strange. It must be using my gloves, that blue glow. So I know it's arachnid. It's a, a, an arachnoid uh, thing it controls or they can they use it to go invisible and anyway this spider was this daddy long legs it seemed like a daddy long legs 
and it was attacking it, killing it. And I tried to save it and put it in a jar, but it died anyway because who, who could survive a daddy long leg bite if it got, got on sores? It'll bite into, one drop would drop an elephant. And it was lucky that this pup biter was lasting that couple of minutes. Um, so I knew that um, it could go, you, it, things could go invisible. So uh, I called it uh, terrestrial then. It, the gloves are terrestrial because uh, something is missing them or it's a human test with terrestrials. So I ended up with all these um, things and intelligence you would never believe, great intelligence. It was fun for a while until it got to nosy sort of thing. But anyway, that's m part of my story. I'll tell the other part another day next week maybe. Um, if you have any stories you'd like to tell, please do. It's really good and interesting because everybody's come clear with all their stories and they're saying it on YouTube. 